This is the Leonardo AW109, the classy light twin helicopter that legendary sports car builder Enzo Ferrari would have designed. Initially conceived in the early 1970s by the Italian company Augusta, which later merged with the British firm Westland Helicopters to form Augusta Westland, the helicopter was targeted towards the light utility market, including passenger transport and medevac roles, with its primary selling points being its speed, maneuverability, and advanced avionics. However, over time, the AW109 adapted to a wide range of applications, including search and rescue, law enforcement, offshore transport, and even armed reconnaissance. Engine options also expanded as technology advanced, providing better performance and operational flexibility. Avionics saw significant enhancements as well with the introduction of glass cockpits, advanced navigation systems, and modern communication suites. Today, the AW109 continues to be a strong contender in the global market, with over 1,000 units sold worldwide. Advances in engine technology, avionics, and airframe design continue to keep the AW109 competitive, and it seems poised to remain a vital part of the rotorcraft market for years to come. But is it really as classy as they say? Stay with us till the end of the video because here is everything you need to know about the Leonardo AW109. Stepping inside, the cabin's width of 5 feet 6 inches or 1.68 meters and height of 4 feet 2 inches or 1.27 meters may not make it the largest cabin in its class, but the layout is optimized for comfort and utility. The flat floor allows for more straightforward movement inside the space, which can be especially beneficial for medical evacuations or utility roles where quick and efficient use of space is critical. Seating configurations are flexible. The standard 1 plus 2 plus 3 layout allows for up to 6 passengers plus 1 pilot, but each seat can also be customized in terms of upholstery and support structure. Ergonomic design considerations are evident in the seats, particularly the contoured backrests and well-placed armrests. Optional four-point harnesses add an extra layer of safety, while some aircraft opt for bench-style seating. The individualized seats in the AW109 serve to elevate passenger comfort, allowing for more personalized adjustments, and each seat is fitted with individual control units for lighting and air conditioning. Materials used in the cabin range from durable synthetic polymers for operational variants to high-quality leather and wood veneers in VIP models. The tactile feel of controls, the solidity of storage compartments, and even the finish on the metal parts reflect attention to detail. The environmental control system is more advanced than those found in many comparable helicopters. Dual zone climate control allows for separate temperature adjustments for the cockpit and cabin. Airflow within the cabin is designed for even distribution, reducing hot or cold spots which can be particularly unsettling during long flights. Ambient lighting options come standard in most variants, offering both practical and aesthetic benefits. From utility-focused bright LED lights to softer mood lighting and VIP configurations, lighting design inside the cabin is both functional and inviting. However, noise levels inside the cabin could use improvement. Despite decent soundproofing, the cabin tends to capture rotor and engine noise, so ear protection or noise-canceling headphones are recommended for extended missions. Storage space within the cabin is adequate, but not overly generous. Overhead compartments and underseat storage options are available, although the dimensions are better suited for smaller items like briefcases or medical equipment. A noteworthy feature is the availability of modular fixtures that can hold specialized equipment, making the AW109 adaptable for different mission profiles, from search and rescue to airborne journalism. Stepping inside the cockpit, the dual pilot cockpit stretches approximately 5 feet 5 inches or 1.65 meters in width, offering adequate space for comfortable flight operation. The cockpit seats, often equipped with five-point harnesses, feature energy-absorbing structures designed to mitigate the forces experienced during a crash. The 109 features a fully integrated glass cockpit, typically incorporating three or four MFDs depending on the version. These screens, usually around 8 inches diagonally, display a myriad of information from navigation maps to engine parameters. The screens are designed for high visibility, allowing for easy readability even in direct sunlight or low-light conditions. 
One of the highlights is the Synthetic Vision System, a feature that provides a 3D depiction of the terrain, especially valuable in low visibility conditions or when navigating through complex terrains. The SVS often integrates seamlessly with the helicopter terrain awareness and warning system. A dual flight management system allows for intricate flight planning while reducing manual input requirements. Coupled with this is a four-axis autopilot system, which offers not only basic features like altitude hold, but also more advanced capabilities like auto hover and coupled approach. These systems are often certified to stringent standards such as the DOE-178C for software and DOE-254 for hardware, underlining their reliability. Traffic collision avoidance systems and automatic dependent surveillance broadcast are usually part of the standard avionics package and work in tandem to provide real-time traffic information. On the communication side, you'll find dual VHF radios along with options for satellite communication, ensuring that you're never out of touch. The AW109 features a fully hydraulic control system offering both force and stability augmentation. What's captivating is that these systems are often backed up by electronic or even digital circuits. Feedback mechanisms are built into the control systems to offer a realistic feel, which can be crucial for pilots transitioning from older mechanically controlled helicopters. One often overlooked but highly valuable feature is the integrated health and usage monitoring system, which continuously tracks the condition of various components, right from the engines to the rotor assembly and provides predictive alerts, which not only enhance safety, but also allow for more efficient maintenance planning. Now let's talk about the engine, performance specifications, and how it flies. Like the 1968 Ferrari Daytona, the AW109 had all the hallmarks of classic Italian design, sleek and slippery styling that made it look fast even when it was sitting on the ramp, nimble handling, amazing speed, and ingenious integration of new technologies and materials. And there were also a few traditional drawbacks. Idiosyncratic maintenance requirements and interior ergonomics best suited to adolescents. So what? It was fast. The Leonardo AW109 is powered by two Pratt and Whitney Canada PW206C engines, although there are versions that sport the Turbo Maca Arius 2K1. The PW engines have a TBO of 4,000 hours, each producing 550 shaft horsepower. These engines also feature FADEC for optimal fuel efficiency and simpler engine management. The engines allow a maximum rate of climb per minute of 1,900 feet or 580 meters and a maximum cruising altitude of 20,000 feet or 6,100 meters. The aircraft has a maximum cruise speed of 154 knots with an average hourly fuel burn of 85 gallons or 320 liters. The helicopter has a maximum range of 440 nautical miles, which is 510 miles or 820 kilometers, with a maximum net payload of 2,750 pounds or 1,250 kilograms, and a full fuel payload of 1,650 pounds or 750 kilograms. The base purchase price for a new Leonardo AW109 is $6 million before options and the charter price is estimated at $3,000 to $5,000 per hour. Naturally, prices will vary depending on availability, fuel prices, ground fees, and more. While the annual fixed cost is roughly $300,000 to $500,000, the average hourly operating cost is estimated at $1,500 to $2,500. Thank you for staying with us till the end. Here are two videos you can watch next. If you enjoyed this video, make sure to leave a like and subscribe. Thanks for watching.